Vitor Roque is the new Barcelona star. The Catalan club is very much looking forward to the footballer's arrival in the upcoming weeks and starting from January 1st, the 18-year-old forward will officially strengthen the roster of Blaugrana. Great things are expected from this transfer because the hyped newcomer got compared to literally anyone at this point. Think of him having qualities of both Ronaldo Nazario and Romario all in one. And indeed, Roque is an incredible talent who has every chance to shine his light at Barcelona. Today, Fanatico Channel will tell you about the match during which Barca spotted the striker's tremendous potential and declare their desire to link their future with Vitor. So, pop open those Lunchables, make yourself comfortable, and let's get started! August the 8th, 2022. Remember this date. On this very day, Roque made his name known. The 17-year-old footballer, who had just recently joined Atletico Paranaense from Cruzeiro, becoming the biggest transfer in the history of his new club, steps onto the pitch in a clash against Atletico Mineiro. Needless to say, it was a match that Vitor will never forget in his life. The moment that happens at the 46th minute has completely changed the course of the game, revealing the sheer quality of the young forward's talent to the whole world. Vitor received the ball and, being marked by the opponent's defender, decided to dribble a bit to the left, then sharply moved to the opposite way to beautifully send the ball home into the far upper corner. Mamma mia! What a goal! We are sure this was exactly the reaction of Barcelona's chief scout for the Brazilian market Deco at the time. By the way, please leave a like to this video if you were impressed by this goal. The new Ronaldo Nazario didn't stop there. Very soon he went on to demonstrate a truly impressive skill, typical for the elite number 9. At the 56th minute, he was open at the near post and thus he succeeded at tapping in his partner's strike. There is a totally high-class present in this attack, don't you agree? Atletico Paranaense won that match 3-2. Vitor Roque was named the man of the match. And that's when Deco realized what a gem he had just seen in action. Having received the first reports about the new Brazilian star, Barcelona were in no hurry to seduce the footballer and his entourage. You see, it was all about Andrek. Yes, this feud seems to never end. Like other top European clubs, Barcelona and Real Madrid always keep an eye on the Brazilian market, trying to take the next big thing out from Brazil ASAP. By the way, that was the case with Blancos capturing Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo very early and quickly. In fact, the same battle unfolded for Andrek. Barcelona fought the Merengues till the end of the saga. There was even an official confirmation from Xavi at a press conference. Andrik, who have been talking to his father and also directly to the player, I explained the project we have in Barcelona. We want talent, and he is a talent able to make a difference. He can score goals, he can dribble. He's got a brutal ability to make a difference. He is the kind of player we need. I hope he becomes our player. It's up to him. It always depends on player. Usually, a player will end up playing where he wants to play, so it's a very personal decision of Andrik. As we all know, Andrik eventually chose Real Madrid. But can it be considered Barca's failed pursuit? Barcelona began to actively work on Vitor Roque's move from January 2023. It was right after the failed attempt to poach Andrik that Deco insisted on a transfer of a new star of Atletico Paranaense, who was then on fire as part of the Brazilian U-20 squad in the South American World Cup qualifiers. 17-year-old Roque was tearing everyone apart there, having six goals and one assist in nine games, of which Seleção got seven victories, sealing past the qualifying stage with no problems along the way. The qualifiers took place from January 19th to February 13th. Sure, the factor of the Wizkid's amazing performance could not but affect Barcelona. Back then, Vitor looked like a real rock star on the football pitch. He backed goals for different tastes, like a pure center forward. 
showed cool-headedness while taking penalties. Stunt with amazing solo runs, as for example he did in the match against Ecuador. Confidently passed goalkeepers after going one and one and, overall, the guy proved himself to be a high-caliber goalscorer. Ever since reports of Barcelona's interest in his persona have started to pop up in the media, Viter have been having a second breath. Rocky has always been a fan of Blaugrana, and thus, he was inspired and continued to make wonders for Atletico Paranaense. Like in the first season in the new team, the forward netted 14 goals and 5 assists in 52 games. But in 2022-23 campaign, these indicators have largely increased. 21 goals and 8 assists in 45 matches. This machine only got stopped by the injury that Vitor received on September 22nd. It's worth saying that the injury looked terrible at first, mostly because of how twisted the forward's ankle was. Luckily, a serious injury was avoided and after two months of being sidelined, Roque came back on track and ended the season in Brasileirao in the lineup, even managing to score in one of the matches. Despite the fact that Andrux Palmeiras actually become champions, throughout the course of the campaign, everyone noticed how strong Vitor was as a performer. For comparison, according to the results of the season, 29 goal involvements at club level, plus 7 goal involvements as part of the Brazilian U20 squad, 36 in total. At the same time, Andrik's numbers are much more modest – 53 appearances, 14 goals and 1 assist. Rocky's advantage is more than two times greater. So, who was more lucky and who grabbed the better prospect – Barca or Real Madrid? Share your opinion in the comments below. To our mind, Vitor Rocky has already managed to prove how good he is as a clinical finisher while being only 18, and it's certainly worth all the praise. Meanwhile, Andrik still needs to master his skills. Interestingly, both have already made their debuts for Brazil this year, and their face-to-face -face battle in the Brazilian league has gathered millions of views around the world. Moreover, both managed to score in their matches. Roque made his debut in the tie against Morocco, while Andrik played World Cup qualifiers against Colombia and Argentina. We can compare these guys for a long, long time. But as for this moment, the advantage is clearly on the side of Vitor Roque. Barcelona can feel lucky because at last, the team will end up with new, fresh blood in the attacking line amid the disastrous chance conversion Blaugrana delivered this season. Vitor Roque's arrival is eagerly awaited at Barcelona. They are waiting for his arrival so much, the club management decided to take chances and announce the Brazilian, whose move was completed in the summer. But Barca couldn't announce him earlier on due to financial issues. Barcelona board have been keeping Vitor as the key asset to bolster the squad in the middle of the season. Xavi and Deco were always in touch with the Brazilian, assuring how important he will be in the January. I hope Vitor Roque can join us in the January window. It'd be crucial for the team. He could help us a lot," Xavi stated at the beginning of December. And indeed, amid the goal crisis that haunts Barca throughout the season, the arrival of such a productive player can totally revive the team. Sure, Lewandowski, Rafinha, Felix, Ferran and Yamal are still capable of providing marvelous performances. But most of the time they are rather inconsistent. And this is why the Catalan club is in fourth place in La Liga. Although based on the number and quality of created chances, Barca should be on top of the league. Vitor Roque will be able to quickly adapt to Barcelona and get his minutes on a regular basis, since he can play any position up front as a center forward and both a right and left winger. This deal is nothing but a real treasure for Barcelona, which can turn a rather ambiguous season into gold. We must wait a while for his clash against Andrik in La Liga, simply because the Brazilian has not yet turned 18 to move to a foreign league. So, how do you like Vieta Roque? Will he be able to show his fullest at Barcelona? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Folks, 
This was the Fanatico channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. It's important to us. And don't forget to check out the suggested videos from our project. Love football and it'll love you back. Bye-bye.